<laughs> hey, what's up? This is Anthony with the Lee Group Real Estate Managing Broker, team leader. I'm here with my buddy, Lauren, and we're here to tell you how he made $314,000 in six months. Six months. So first off, say hello, Lauren. Hello. Lauren is uh, leaving us. First, a little bit about Lauren. Uh, he's getting ready to go off to medical school to be a resident. Uh, or actually completing medical school and he's going to be a resident how you know to go be a doctor instead of do real estate which okay we can respect that so you know what i'm gonna tell you a little bit about the story and then let lauren tell you but so it was last late last summer we met we were we went to a barbecue for a mutual friend friend who's also a client right and we're gonna close on a house of his but we'll get to that soon enough and uh, we met there at that barbecue and i was having an event at my house with gary v and tom ferry well, not, they weren't at my house. It was a virtual event, of course. So anyway, that was late September. Uh, so he came to that event not knowing anything. You got to realize, almost 40 years of medical school, no training, getting ready to go into the slow season of real estate, he came to this event. All right, came to this event and asked me, he said, all right, that sounds good. I want to do it. And I'm like, who is this kid, right? What's, what's he going to do? And then uh, I knew it was good when he said, well, I'm going to just outwork you. I'll do it. We'll let him think he did. Um, anyway, so Lauren, tell us a little bit about your background before you got to me in late September. So, I mean, I've pretty much been in school my whole life. I've always worked in school as soon as I turned 16. I started as a busser at Texas Roadhouse. I worked at Texas Roadhouse for seven and a half years. I've had 13 different jobs now, anywhere from Uber driver, I was a chemistry major in undergrad, so I worked for the company that made the color-changing ink for Coors. Um, went to school at UCCS, graduated from there, took a year off, worked at the Pikes Peak International Raceway as a contractor out there, and then started med school in my last year of med school. Graduated in less than a month. And go start an anesthesia residency in San Antonio and be an anesthesiologist when that's all said and done, but I've always worked up like 70 plus hours a week, pretty much going to school full time. And I knew I was finishing my clinicals end of 2022 or 2020, and I can't not do anything. And when I met Anthony, he seemed smart with money and doctors are notoriously bad with money. So really I reached out when I reached out, I wanted to be a personal assistant. I just wanted to learn and that was it, but he said he wasn't hiring that, he only wanted agents. So, 10 days later, I took my test and so, passed. And... He became an agent, he came to my house, get this, okay, he came to my house, it was a Thursday, Thursday. He signed up for the real estate, this is for all you newbies out there, and even if you aren't a newbie, this is gonna make you feel horrible, and I hope it does, because he signed up for his class on Thursday after the event, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., calls me Friday night, says, hey, I'm almost done with this. I'm taking my final test. The course will be passed. I'll have my Rec 33. Saturday morning, that's two days, Rec 33 in hand, scheduled his test. Took it the next Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, it's almost seven days. Passed it the first time. Got into PPR, got a Century Connect. Boom, 10 days, he's off and running. So we're now into the beginning of October. 10 days, he was an agent, okay? So for all you people out there that think you need to study for three months and do whatever, yeah. D depending on what you want, yeah, or, or how you, you do, yes. But this guy, okay, came in in the middle of October, and in six months, from October to March, in, in mid-March, right, he's when he really stopped selling because he got his, we, we thought he was going to be here in July, but he's not. So he's leaving early, all right. He did 21 transactions and did $314,000 in GCI. And the main reason why is because he listened and because he has a mindset, motivation, grit, determination, and he doesn't quit. But the real thing is, is I see it all the time. As the broker, I see people come in all the time. They think they know better than I do, which maybe there is a better way. Or they come into the brokerage, they listen to somebody on YouTube and they try that and it doesn't work. Lauren was nonstop from the beginning. One of the things he did, I think one day you drove to Denver, I don't know how many times, two or three times in one day, right, for this deal. But he got the deal. We got a double-ended, almost triple-ended deal out of it. Anyway, it was crazy. So Lauren, where does that motivation and drive and determination 
come from? Because it's not, you know, I see agents all the time. They don't have, I mean, there's 5,000 starving ones out there right now or more. I don't I mean, know. I think it's just the need. You know, I knew I had right? goals and I accomplish my goals if I want them. I don't take no right. essentially for anything. So I was willing to just do what had to be done to get what I needed. And I mean, you have to keep in mind, I mean, I went into this wanting to just learn from Anthony because he seemed smart in something I wasn't smart. And I like to surround myself with people that know things that I don't. And then if I could break even on my class and the cost of getting my uh, license, that was gonna be a bonus. Turned out to be way more than that and I have no debt and my wife and I are buying a house and it just made the transition into residency that much easier. And I, I really am just thankful. Did, so. you, did you guys hear that out there? Zero debt. He's going into residency with zero debt and they bought a house. How many residents get to buy a house or at least a nice one that they're gonna to get to enjoy? Not many, he gets to. All because he did what it was gonna take, all right? He didn't question either. What was good is, well, he did question when I told him to do some dumb shit, but he still did it. <laughs> but he asked questions like, why are we doing that? And he's like, I was like, told him and he's like, okay, whatever. But he did it, right? And you know, through all my years in the military and being on special forces teams, that's what it takes. It takes somebody that wants to be a team that says, hey, you're gonna tell me to do some shit and I'm just gonna plow forward and do it. But did you hear what he said? He had a big why, right? He had a why. His why was to get out of debt and to buy a house, right? And I remember it's the most beautiful thing, most beautiful thing, things that, you know, sometimes you take for granted. Um, you know, he had like an iPhone 6 and his wife had like an iPhone something that was cracked, I don't know. But the most beautiful thing at Christmas time, he was able to go buy her a new phone and he was able to get an air fryer, okay? <laughs> so he saw an air fryer at my house, and I mean, he was just like, loved it, and he was able to buy an air fryer. Not that, you know, but that just goes to show you what to do. And then when he was able to pay his bills off, boom, no bills. I mean, debt free. If you follow Dave Ramsey, being debt free, that's the way to go. So, you know, my point is, is that you gotta have the mindset, you gotta have the motivation, you gotta have the determination, and you just gotta want it. Not a lot of you guys want it bad enough. Lauren wants it bad enough. Lauren's gonna go do great things. In fact, we're not done. We're gonna do some great things in the future together. It may not be in real estate, but we're gonna go mess some shit up, all right? Because you've gotta have people with the right mindset. He also said something very key, which was you gotta surround yourself with the right people, okay? I wouldn't be where I was if I didn't surround myself with the right people. And he found somebody to surround himself with to level up. You know, you've got to always find someone to level up to. And so I've tried to find that, he found that, and now we're getting ready to go to the next level and keep going and going and going. Hope that makes sense. So what do you think, Lauren? When you, when you go into residency, what are you going to carry over? What are some of the things you're going to remember and carry over into residency as you go become a doctor and help heal people? I mean, I don't know. This job just kind of reinforced grit. You know, it reinforced long hours, being on call, essentially. I mean. That's yeah. one thing I don't think people realize too, is like, so being a doc, they understand that on call is a thing and people understand that you're gonna get called in from home in the middle of the night and do stuff. Like, same thing happens in real estate. I had a client who went under contract on a new build who called me at like 10.30 at night with a flat tire because he was out of town and I had to go pick him up and drive him back to his, his hotel. Like, you're always on call and you have to be okay with that if you really wanna kinda kill the game, so. And did you hear what he just said? He went and picked him up. That's developing a relationship. So he didn't care about the transaction, it's a relationship with that person. You know what, he's also taking my advice. He goes out to lunch with his clients. Hey, go figure, it's not a transaction, it's a relationship. Because as agents, you want more, you know, the lifetime value of a customer goes way beyond that initial sale. And people just don't get it. He gets it, he got it, and that's part of, part of his bedside manner and, you know, being nice. Which, you know, as a team, you gotta realize, so as a team, we did that plus a lot more. And what he really helped me do is, like I said, I have grit determination. I've worked every day for like the last five years, right? When he came on, I could see it was handle it. I actually took days off. I went to Florida. Sometimes I just turned my phone off because I knew he had it. I didn't have to worry about it. So that was a blessing for me. And now that he's leaving, I'm back to working every fucking day, 14 hour days. I love it. 
No, seriously, I do love it. Um, but am I gonna find the next Lorne? Probably not. Because there are all of you people watching this, you guys can't keep up with him. He told me he was gonna keep up with me. He may have thought he did. Oh, I did. But he thinks he did. But is is I'm, I challenge you, if you're out there right now, if you're a motherfucking baller, and you think you can keep up with him, if you want to do 300 and what was it? 314, 314 thousand dollars in six months. Slow season. During the slow season, yes. Remember, okay. This is going to be at the bottom. It's going to be in the title. During the slow season of real estate, October to March, we had Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, COVID. It didn't matter. This guy fucking ran through walls. If there was a door there and the door wasn't there yet, he would kick it in and then he made that door and he went through it. So is that you? Or are you one of those guys that's going to, eh, this will come to me and I'm just going to go home at six. I'm going to watch The Simpsons or Netflix or whatever the hell you guys do when you're not making money. Oh, you don't make money. That's right. You just make $40,000 a year. That's great. No, it's not. Go get a real job if you're just going to do that. Don't plug up the real estate system. Seriously. I'm, I'm serious. So, but if you want to replace Lorne, give me a call. DM me. We're going to miss him. He's irreplaceable. But I need somebody. I need one person. That's it. I'm looking for one of him. If I can find one of him, I'm done. Because we're going to go fucking do it. If you think about what he did, everybody. 314000 during the slow season. He would have done another 500000 during the busy season. That means he would have done 800 and some thousand dollars. Do you realize 800000 in his first year? Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's fucking amazing. I mean, he kicked y'all's asses in the off months. Just think if it was the busy months. So, all right. Hey, this is Anthony with Lorne. We're signing off. He's out of here. He's off to become a doctor. But I'm still here and we're going to keep grinding, baby. All right, bye.